Good morning, it's Kenanigan. Well, it looks like my subs get around. Um, I usually do not dox other YouTube channels, and that's not really what I'm doing. In fact, these two YouTube channels I'm going to show you don't even really cover quote-unquote reptilians. One of them has just gone on a kick recently. He's got 400,000 subs. They will never let me get the 400,000 subs. Because I maybe I talk about a little bit more than just reptilians because there's a whole occult and satanic ritual abuse aspect of it. Nobody wants to cross the Rubicon when it comes to reptilians there. I do. And this is just what I'm going to say. A lot of people get interest in lizard people or reptilians, whatever you want to call them. But here is what's going to happen. And this is a fact. You're going to hit a brick wall with your research. You're only going to get so far. You can go down the route of reptilian encounters. You want to, you know, I don't get into encounters. And there's a few reasons why. I get into basically strictly facts. So, one of the YouTube channels recently is a, is a channel I follow. This is actually a dog man cryptozoology channel. And all he does, I don't blame the YouTuber. Because all he does is interview people who have dog man encounters. And I don't even think he believes 100% of the interviews. Uh, he, But that's not his job. He just uh, he gets people on his podcast. Hey, tell us about your experience. Okay. Some of them sound credible. I mean, this is why I don't get into encounters. Okay. It's just not what I do. However, I come over to this. But there is some bad actors out here. And I know who this guy probably is. I haven't listened to the show yet. But he said reptilian case files are back. Yeah. There's a guy that goes around on the internet. Says he's an ex-government contractor who hunted reptilians at deep underground bases. Now you want to ask me. It's 100% bullshit. Like I said. One of the most fascinating things I found out about the Anunnaki. Or the Council of 300. Is there wasn't that many of them. Maybe people have a hard time explaining. Thinking, how the hell are 300 reptilians ruling 8 billion people? Well, it's pretty easy. It's called social engineering, secret societies, MK Ultra mind control. Uh, there's a quote from The Sopranos. Our true enemy has yet to reveal himself. Yeah, that was from Syl from The Sopranos. I love that quote. Because, and secondly, here, let me read you this comment. So, look, I'm not knocking... He has 66,000 subs. This is Jeff um, Naldoni. If Jeff ever wanted me to go on his show and talk to him about what I think about reptilians, alpha draconians, I'd be happy to. You know what's different with my research other than these people that claim to go around and, you know, for some reason, my research resonates with people. And there's a reason why I go around to any YouTube channel now talking about reptilians and the comments, I guarantee you these are my subs. Here's a comment that someone left, now the reptilian case files, uh, this was about dog man shot in Arizona, government, government agents show up and the reptilian case files, yeah, uh, I never bought the underground dumb theory with reptilians. I, I'm not saying there aren't Zeta reticulans underground. I know about Dulce Base. I've been to Area 51. You're preaching to the choir with that one. Yeah, I, I, I've actually been to Area 51. So, um, <laughs> I'll get those videos back on YouTube. So, um, Sam Sapoil7612, that, that might be one of my subs. It's talking about reptilians in the comment here saying it's a serpent versus the eagle. And there is a reason why the eagle is the mascot of the USA. Yeah. This is one of my subs. If you look at the walls of Sumer, you will see a creature with a bird head. That's what they worship. A inner dimensional reptilian. A Skeksis. Look, I'm just going to have to say, I, I think Sam Sapoy has been exposed to my research. This is what I'm, uh, it actually makes me proud of myself uh, to keep on going. Not, to, not because I'm a narcissist, because everything I've, I've been doing, no matter how many YouTube channels I've lost, has not been in vain. 
and there are people out here in the ecosphere that know my research. They're leaving comments about it. It wouldn't be the first big YouTube channel I've seen trying to cover reptilians. And people are like, you got, you need to get Kinnanigan on your show. Then there's that. Well, we'll just end it there. Most of them will act like they never heard my name. They don't know who I am. Yeah, there's, there's one channel out there with a million subs. He plays dumbass. Go ask him who Kinnanigan is. He'll have everyone else on Under the Sun talking about reptilians. Shills. <laughs> Did I say that? But... God forbid he ever, I wouldn't go on his show. And here, no no coincidence, I find out the guy possibly had connections to Gaia. And I'm done there. That's that's where I end it. So the next channel. This is a channel who, um, I really don't like doxing them, but Dark Waters, if you heard of him. He's been on Lizard People Kick for the past two weeks. Um, like I said, this is democracy. You're allowed to make videos about whatever you want. It's just, look, everyone's allowed to make videos about reptilians. Why is the stuff I put out resonate with people and other stuff just, well, plus I have a huge advantage. It's my name alone. You cannot forget the name Kinnanigan. Um, it's very easy. Um, a lot of people have, you know, forgettable names when it comes to content creators. Hard to remember, right? Now, this comment might not be one of my subs, but this comment is someone who read the Emerald tablets of thought and he's doing a visit um like i said do not call them i don't call them lizard people for a reason they are not here i'm gonna lose that comment if i keep scrolling up this video has a lot of views look at the comments they will never let me get the 400,000 subs yet these are the people that are getting all the big views when it comes to quote unquote lizard people or reptilians I, uh, you know, I was on track to have 100,000 subs on my first Kinnigan YouTube channel, and that's a fact. So I could have been at 400,000 subs now, and I know easily had a million. People are like, dude, with the information you put out, you should have a million subs. Because you actually are doing your own research. You're not regurgitating everything that you've heard under the sun. You're not doing these, like, like you're legitimately doing real occult research, and I said, well, well, that's the other brick wall you're going to hit. You're going to study reptilians. You better get ready to get your hands dirty and become an expert in black magic in the occult. For a reason. And it has a lot to do with this comment I'm about to read. Because you are going to be delving into the realm of magic, whether you like it or not. And if you don't understand the mystical aspects of these creatures, I don't think you're ever going to get it. And when you find out what they really look like, they're they're more bird-like than actually lizard. Um, the kind of energy that these reptilians feed on is not a, uh, let me just say this before I read the comment, it is not a person-to-person -person negativity feeding. A reptilian is not going to assault a woman and then feed off that negativity right there. Humans do. No, I am talking about feeding off negativity that affects the whole entire vibrational frequency of the planet. What 8 billion people are resonating at. Try to grasp your head around that one. Yes, I'm talking about the financial... Uh, I am talking about the uh, vibrational frequency of 8 billion people. And that's the kind of negativity they feed on. Um, it's on a massive scale, and this has to do with resonance and frequency. I know it's so. Anyway, here's the comment here. It's been said, according to the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, that in Atlantis the reptile took the form of men, replacing people. Then the magicians of Atlantis, they actually didn't call them well, call them magicians if you want. They don't. Of Atlantis created a word the serpent headed people couldn't pronounce. To hold an office, they had to be able to pronounce a word. Supposedly, a reptilian vocal cords couldn't pr do, pronounce the word. And then we had someone with a snarky comment under them going, Oh, is it all the S's? No, it is not the S's. Because they don't have forked tongues and they don't have scales on their skin. And in fact, they don't even look like lizards. Um. 
I think what maybe what it is, if they did find out the truth, maybe it's not as um, appealing to them to make content. You know, they want to have the stories on here. Some guy walked into a 7-Eleven and ran into a reptilian. Fine. Like I said, do what, do what you want. I'm not here to... I'm just saying, from these two comments right here, the one about the Emerald Tablets and the one definitely about worshipping a Skeksis. <laughs> that is how my research has affected the reptilian ecosphere. So, I guess there's no stopping now, is there? I definitely need to get a book published. Because when you start seeing comments like this, it's like, yeah. And believe me, there have been other people trying to plagiarize my work, and they get caught. They're like, yo, are you going to give Kinnigan credit for this shit? You didn't come up with how reptilians shapeshift in Han Purple. Don't even try it. Oh, yeah, that is one of the few things I can explain. How they shapeshift. I've even... Uh, I've even gone a little more into the physics aspects with the ability to manipulate coherent matter and understanding. Um, so, yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm not doxing other YouTube channels. And there, these, two rep, these two channels are not even, quote unquote, there is no reptilian YouTube channels out there except me. And that's a fact. There used to be. A lot of them, uh, the ones that I follow, like, Cyros and um, other ones from like, and he still follows me. He still makes videos. He's still on YouTube. They were the, they were the old school reptilian anomaly makers, and that's kind of where I got the inspiration to start doing anomaly videos and watching. They were scoring um, anomaly videos to techno and house, and it, you know, it was there were quite a few channels. The only other researcher out there i don't know where he's at anymore chris archer he has lost multiple youtube channels also but um he followed my work because he was one of the actually he was one of the few researchers that actually reached out to me and asked me if he can use my research and i'm like yeah go ahead man it's, that's fine but i was like surprised i was like someone actually asked me and i had a lot of respect for him after that He's like, yeah. He's like, chief, that's your research, man. I don't want you thinking like I'm stealing your shit. I'm like, no, it's fine, man. And then he started talking to them about um some of the things I was teaching. And um, I think the only way we are ever going to defeat them is coming to agreement to what they are. But it's just, look, um. If doing the lizard people thing and underground dumbs is um, what you're into, you know, you're into reptilian encounters. I don't think, I don't, honestly, I honestly don't think humans run into them that much. And I believe this is a fact. Also, you got a bigger problem to worry about humans acting on behalf of reptilians than you do reptilians themselves. And to me, that is the scary part. People that are in secret societies, that practice the occult, that practice black magic, they are basically engaging in what the reptilians provided for them, the black magic matrix. Usually at the end of the day, it's for narcissistic and selfish reasons, money, sex, and power. I don't see too many high-level masons don't appear like they got into it for um, arcane and ancient knowledge about King Solomon. That doesn't seem to be the deal. Robert De Niro. Yeah, he comes to mind. I told you he was a mason. <laughs> Seems a lot of people join secret societies for the um, other reasons. That's all I'm going to say. Maybe it started out as just business connections or I want to learn some. Well, I tell people, you want to learn about the occult, come to me. I already know most of the Masonic secrets. <laughs> so... There's not. For, what are they, why would I even join? What are they going to put? What are they going to? What carrot are they going to put over my head? I know they haven't figured out the 72 syllable lost word of God because if they did, they already would have used it, and they were they would have already ushered in the fucking antichrist. <laughs> Two. I don't think a lot of people in secret societies are the powerful black magicians and wizards they were supposed to be. 
Hello, 91 indictments against Trump. Yeah, it doesn't sound like attacks on powerful wizards to me. Um, just saying. <laughs> They're probably trying to curse me as I speak. Yeah, someone's doing a sheeny voodoo magic ritual on me as, as we speak. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time. So anyway, yeah, my research is getting out in the ecosphere. And these are not the only time I see this. Any big YouTube channel out there that makes a uh, video about reptilians, I guarantee you there's going to be a comment. And I read these two because, if you know, it's not, none of these researchers put my name in the comments, which is fine. I don't want people out there thinking I'm spamming my research on other channels. I don't need to. So, um, I got the Odyssey. Um, that was supposed to be a short video last night. I wound up talking for almost an hour. I don't know. It's just a, I'm not talking for an hour right now because I need coffee. So, yeah. Um, well, anyway, good way to start out the day. It's better than turning on and seeing my whole fucking feed. Well, well, the Trump derangement syndrome will be coming today. Third jury Diblet. Should we talk about the occult aspects of courts? I could do that. You want me to make a video about that? You ever figure out why there's 12 jurors? There's 12 GG gods. There are 12 signs of the zodiac. Why does the judge wear a black robe? What's that symbolic of? It's symbolic of the black ring, the black square of Saturn. <laughs> Two, I don't know why Trump does not file British maritime liens against all these assholes. Trump needs to hire me for his legal team. Trump, I'm telling you, I'll save you a shitload of money. I am very cheap. You give me enough money to buy a pound of weed, I'll make all your legal troubles go away. Using British maritime law. You can file liens against people who impede your ability to perform commerce within the corporation of the United States. Now, the only way that that doesn't work is if the corporation has been dissolved and has it i don't know there was a lot of military activity on the east coast yesterday uh, planes i know this and there's another question where's the nuclear football just saying i'm asking did the dumbass democrats think that there might be a possibility that, uh well they've already the dumbasses didn't realize that if they throw Trump in prison, the Secret Service goes with them. Yeah, meaning they're not going to have prison guards get to come into Trump's, Trump's cell at 1 o'clock in the morning, put zip ties on them, and beat the shit out of them, like they do to the J6 prisoners. Yeah, I, I know about that. They're in massive prisoner of war violations in Washington. It's disgusting. Just to treat another human like that. It is fucking disgusting. And as far as I'm concerned, those humans are, they're worse than the fucking reptilians. And that's a fact. Reptilians do what they do because they're parasites. Are you going to get mad at a, a mosquito for biting you? Or are you going to get more mad at someone who throws you in a bathtub and harvests your organs like another human, right? The bug doesn't know what it's doing. It simply does what's in its DNA. However, humans that work on behalf of reptilians or under the cover of their different bureaucracies or jurisdictions, that's what they had in Babylon, are bigger pieces of shit than the actual Alpha Draconians themselves. And yeah, I said it. So who are we really at war with? Are we at war with Alpha Draconians, or are we at war with ourselves? The plot thickens, right? People just need to stop practicing black magic. Okay. Stop making deals with demons. Um, there's something else I was going to say about that. That's where people like Robert De Niro come into it, you know, with the little ones. That's the other thing. They'll burn the whole entire country to the fucking ground 
just so they can keep their dirty little secrets about what they do with the little ones off the radar. To me, that if you're a human doing that, yeah, you're more vilely disgusting than the reptilians themselves. I said it. And if you're a shill for the U.S. government going around spreading misinformation about reptilians, good luck, because your shit doesn't resonate with people. Uh, I, I... Yeah, so that's that's my rant this morning. My research is getting around. It's in the ecosphere. It's probably getting annoying because a lot of the, the shill content creators, they, they know they can't touch the reptilian subject without my name coming up. <laughs> they can ignore me all they want. It was ingenious that I made my name the only word that reptilians couldn't pronounce, and that was for a reason. Maybe it was for some... It worked. Anyway, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, if you could support the channel, that would be awesome. Um, I'm trying to get some money together for some, some smokable stuff, that's all. If I can't, oh well. I got some food and I got cigarettes, so that's good enough, but my ADHD starts kicking in. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Anyway, any questions or comments, leave them below. If you could support the channel, all the links are in the description. Any amount would um, help. Yeah, I have fiber optic internet, and I was actually surprised how fast my channel synced yesterday. I got three, yeah, the new Odyssey channel. Here's the video I made yesterday. So, all my videos are backed up. And even this video will be on there as soon as I upload it to YouTube. It'll go over to um, Odyssey. And yeah, everything should be good. It's also my proof that, yeah, yeah, I've been talking about this reptilian stuff for quite a long time, and I got all the videos to prove it. And hopefully I get a book published soon. I need to. If I don't get my book published, people will steal and plagiarize my research. They'll say they came up with it. They will, which isn't cool, but they will. I don't think the lizard people... Running into, um, yeah, um, native Terran reptilians are not particularly interacting with humans. Just watch the Lacerda files sometimes, she explains why. They don't like humans and they don't like the Alpha Draconians because they see them both as stealing their homeland, their home planet. And, The more that you try to fight out, fight back against the idea that they aren't birds or avian, I, I, I can supply facts to you all day. Like they said in that comment, go look at the wall reliefs in ancient Samaria. They have eagle's heads. Why is the symbol of the USA the eagle? That's why I said there, there is no quote unquote lizard part of this. I don't, I hate the term lizard people. I don't use it. And um, they are not apex predators. Maybe that's the other thing that people get disappointed with. Oh, that's not going to get video views. We got to have 1,200 pound lizards working in dumbs. Able to rip humans' heads off at will. Yeah, why would they be hiding if they were 1,200 pound apex predators? Yeah, they wouldn't be. How does Bigfoot get a human out of an area where his clan is, where he doesn't want humans to go? He just makes himself visible. He don't even attack the humans. We all know that. Sasquatch rarely ever attack humans. They're, 
But if you go to where they hang out and they don't want you there, what do they do? They just make themselves appear. Because when you see a thousand pound, eight foot tall Sasquatch, you're like, you even have a gun on you. Alright, I, I ain't fucking with that. I, I'm out of here. Yeah, you don't think a reptilian would do the same thing. Yeah. The plot thickens, doesn't it? And at the end of the day, as I'm coming to the conclusion, it's not the reptilians themselves, and there ain't that there, there isn't that many of them. They're called the Council of Three Hundred. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Is um, it's the humans? They're acolytes. There goes a good word for you, because that TV show is about to hit soon. The Disney piece of shit, Star Wars. Um. <laughs> Who are a bigger threat to human civilization. People like uh, in the Biden regime. That will burn his fucking country to the ground. Just to indict the orange man. And, all, and uh, at the end of the day. It's over one little subject. And we know what it is. Because they don't want that getting out in the open. Yeah because look how Robert De Niro. Uh, was welcomed by the public in New York the other day. And it's happening. Someone yelled out to him in the crowd, you touch kids. Fox News won't show you that part. Uh, gee, I wonder why they won't show you that on TV. There is a video floating around, and that's what got Robert De Niro freaking the fuck out. Yeah. Don't worry. Evil always loses. They had their chance. They had four fucking years to instill their uh, tyrannical rulership over America. And they fucking failed. Okay? You can't even indict your competition. I think God is working in mysterious ways here. And maybe the Alpha Draconians are in panic mode. And when they think that we get too big as a civilization... Yeah... That's when they don't mind taking out nine, you know, killing off most life on Earth and starting all over again. Which is fucking sad. Uh, anyway. So, yeah, when I talk about loss feeding, I'll, I, I can talk about that in another video. I honestly think I'm talking about something that's going on on a global scale. I'm talking about the whole resonant vibrational frequency of the planet itself. And the negative energy it provides. On a massive scale. Not on an individual case to case basis. Um, yeah. So anyway that's my rant this morning. It's good to see my research getting around. It's good to see people are reading the Emerald Tablets. Obviously. Anyway. Any questions or comments leave them below. If you could support the channel, all the links are in the description. Take care and God bless.